You are on the freeway and traffic is merging into your lane. You should a make room for the merging traffic, if possible. b assert your right of way by driving faster. c always maintain your position. a make room for the merging traffic, if possible. When traffic permits, you should make room to allow vehicles to merge into your lane. Before you change lanes, you should check your mirrors in. A. Never look over your right shoulder. B. Always slow down in your traffic lane. C. Glance over your shoulder. C. Glance over your shoulder. Before changing lanes, it is very important to check behind you. You should look over your shoulder to ensure that you are not getting in the way of vehicles in the lane you want to enter. Before changing lanes, you should also ensure that no drivers are attempting to drive into the same spot from a different lane. At intersections with a yield sign, you must a yield the right of way to cross traffic that is near enough to cause conflict. b. Yield the right of way only to vehicles on your right. c. Always slow down and proceed without stopping. a. Yield the right of way to cross traffic that is near enough to cause conflict. At a yield sign, you must slow down or stop if necessary, and give the right of way to crossing or merging vehicles. Yield the right of way to any cross traffic that is close enough to cause conflict. A broken yellow centerline means that a. Passing is not permitted. b. Passing on the right is permitted when the way ahead is clear. c. Passing on the left is permitted when the way ahead is clear. C. Passing on the left is permitted when the way ahead is clear. A broken yellow centerline means that a driver may cross the centerline to pass another vehicle on the left as long as there is no oncoming traffic. Drivers should never cross a solid yellow centerline in order to pass. Want to ace your DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. When driving in a construction zone, a. Slightly increase your speed. b. Expect the unexpected. c. Expect construction workers to yield to motorists. b. Expect the unexpected. You may encounter unexpected conditions in a construction zone. For the safety of yourself, other drivers, and construction workers, drive with extraordinary caution. You are approaching an intersection with a steady yellow traffic light. If you have not already entered the intersection, you should a. Speed up to beat the red light. b. Reduce your speed and proceed carefully through the intersection. C. Come to a safe stop. C. Come to a safe stop. When a steady yellow light appears on a traffic signal, you should prepare to stop. If you are already within the intersection, you should clear the intersection as quickly as possible. When driving behind another vehicle at night, you should a. Keep your headlights on the low beam setting. b. Use your high beam headlights until you are within 10 feet of the vehicle ahead. c. Use your high beam headlights. a. Keep your headlights on the low beam setting. Use high beam headlights only when driving in rural areas and when other cars are not nearby. Lower your headlights to their low beam setting when you are following closely behind another driver.
This road sign means A. The roadway ends ahead. B. Drivers must bear either right or left. C. A four-way intersection is ahead. B. Drivers must bear either right or left. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns drivers that they are arriving upon a fork in the road and they must bear either right or left. What does this road sign indicate? A. Directions for children. B. School zone ahead. C. Playground area ahead. B. School zone ahead. Pentagonal signs indicate that you are in or are approaching a school zone and or school crossing. Be aware of children when driving near a school zone and follow posted speed limits. What should a driver do when approaching a traffic control signal that is not in operation? A. Come to a full stop and yield the right of way before entering the intersection. B. If the intersection is clear, the driver does not need to stop. C. Drive quickly through the intersection to get out of the way of other vehicles. Adjust your rear view and side mirrors. A. Before you start driving. B. Whenever you need to use them. C. Before you get into the car. A. Before you start driving. Your safety and the safety of other drivers and pedestrians depends a lot on what you do before driving. Before moving your vehicle, you should adjust your seat, adjust your mirrors, fasten your safety belt, and secure items in and on your vehicle. Do not wait until your vehicle is moving to adjust your mirrors. This sign means A. Reserved parking for persons with disabilities. B. Slow moving vehicle. C. No U-turn. A. Reserved parking for persons with disabilities. This sign indicates parking spaces that are reserved for vehicles displaying persons with disabilities license plates, disabled veteran license plates, and or disabled parking placards. You may legally block an intersection. A. If you entered the intersection on the green light. B. During rush hour traffic. C. Under no circumstances. C. Under no circumstances. Even if the light is green, you may not enter an intersection unless you can get completely across before the light turns red. If you block the intersection, you can be cited. Your license can be suspended if you are under 21 and drive with a blood alcohol level of A. 0.15% or more. B. 0.08% or more. C. Any amount. C. Any amount. There is zero tolerance for alcohol use by drivers under age 21. If you are under 21, the detection of any trace of alcohol in your system will result in stiff penalties, including the suspension of your license for two years. You should signal continuously while turning because it A. Is illegal to turn off your signal before completing a turn. B. Let's other drivers know what your intentions are. C. Is always unsafe to turn off a signal before completing a turn. B. Let's other drivers know what your intentions are. You should always signal when turning, changing lanes, slowing down, or stopping so that other drivers, motorcyclists, bicyclists, and pedestrians will know your intentions. This sign means A. Trucks entering. B. Truck exit only. 
C. Steep downgrade ahead. C. Steep downgrade ahead. This sign warns that a steep downgrade is ahead on the road. Drivers should check their brakes. This sign indicates a A. Railroad crossing. B. Pedestrian crossing. C. No passing zone. A. Railroad crossing. Yellow signs with black markings are used to warn drivers about upcoming hazards or special conditions. Round signs are used only to warn about upcoming railroad crossings. When passing another vehicle, you should return to your original lane when A. You can see both headlights of the passed vehicle in your rearview mirror. B. You have cleared the front bumper of the passed vehicle. C. You are 50 feet in front of the passed vehicle. A. You can see both headlights of the passed vehicle in your rear view mirror. When passing another vehicle, move back into your original lane only when you can see the passed vehicle's headlights in your rear view mirror. This ensures that you will have enough room to safely pull back in front of the other vehicle. This road sign means A. Sharp right turn ahead. B. A road joins from the right. C. The road ahead turns sharply right then sharply left. C. The road ahead turns sharply right then sharply left. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. This sign indicates that the road ahead will turn sharply to the right and then sharply to the left. Roads are slippery after it first starts to rain. When the road is slippery, you should A. Avoid making turns and stops while driving at high speeds. B. Test your tire's traction while going uphill. C. Decrease the distance you look ahead of your vehicle. A. Avoid making turns and stops while driving at high speeds. A wet, Slippery road does not allow your tires the traction they need, so it is necessary to drive more slowly on a wet road than you would on a dry road. To reduce the risk of skidding, you should avoid fast turns or stops. If you must park your vehicle in an area not usually used for parking. A. Park with your reverse lights on. B. Make sure your vehicle is visible to drivers approaching from any direction. C. Park 5 feet from the curb. B. Make sure your vehicle is visible to drivers approaching from any direction. Drivers are responsible for making sure their vehicles do not become hazards after they have been parked. Wherever you park, make sure your car is visible to drivers approaching from any direction. To avoid hydroplaning while driving in rainy conditions, you should A. Drive at a speed appropriate for ideal conditions. B. Apply your brakes as soon as your car starts to skid. C. Slow down. C. Slow down. When driving too quickly in wet conditions, your tires may lose all contact with the road surface. Loss of traction will cause the vehicle to ride on top of the water, which is called, hydroplaning. The best way to prevent this from happening is to drive more slowly in rainy or wet conditions than you would when driving during ideal weather conditions. When may you legally drive around or under a railroad crossing gate? A. Never. B. When you can see clearly in both directions. C. When the warning lights are not flashing. A. Never. Do not go around or under any lowered gate at a railroad crossing. Once the gate is raised, 
Do not proceed across the tracks until you can see clearly in both directions and are sure there are no trains coming. To avoid glare from the headlights of an approaching car. A. Look briefly toward the right side of the road. B. Stay focused on the center line on the road. C. Flash your high beams. A. Look briefly toward the right side of the road. You should avoid looking toward the bright lights of an oncoming vehicle by glancing toward the right side of the road. After looking briefly toward the side of the road, continue looking ahead to check on the position of the other vehicle. When a school bus is picking up or dropping off children, you must A. Stop, regardless of your direction of travel. B. Stop if you are driving in the same direction. C. Slow down and be prepared to stop. A. Stop, regardless of your direction of travel. When approaching a school bus that is picking up or dropping off passengers, you must come to a complete stop before reaching the bus, regardless of your direction of travel. If you are driving and the rear end of your car starts skidding to the left, you should A. Steer to the right. B. Steer to the left. C. Tap your brakes lightly and shift into neutral. B. Steer to the left. If your vehicle enters a skid, you should take your foot off of the brake and steer in the direction that you want to go. For example, if the rear of your vehicle is skidding to the left, you should steer to the left. This will help bring the front of the vehicle in line with the rear thereby straightening out the vehicle's overall direction. When approaching a T intersection, drivers A. Should yield the right of way to cross traffic. B. Have the right of way. C. Should force their way into traffic. A. Should yield the right of way to cross traffic. When approaching a T intersection while traveling on the street ending at the intersection, you must stop and yield the right of way to cross traffic. Only proceed when it is safe to do so. You should always travel. A. At the speed of vehicles surrounding you. B. At the speed limit. C. At a speed appropriate for road and weather conditions. C. At a speed appropriate for road and weather conditions. The speed at which you should drive your vehicle depends on road conditions, the weather, and the legal speed limit. You may never drive above the legal speed limit. Decrease your speed when anything makes conditions less than ideal. If you park facing uphill on a street with a curb, Set the parking brake and A. Turn the front wheels toward the curb. B. Turn the front wheels away from the curb. C. Leave the front wheels straight. B. Turn the front wheels away from the curb. When parking uphill on a road that has a curb, your wheels should be turned away from the curb. When parking uphill on a street without a curb or when parking downhill, your wheels should be turned toward the curb or edge of the road. Temporary signs used in construction and maintenance work areas. A. Have a red background with green writing. B. Have an orange background with black writing. C. Have a yellow background with blue writing. B. Have an orange background with black writing. All temporary signs in work zones have orange backgrounds with black writing and or symbols.